So here we are on another lunchtime. I'm so pleased that you joined me as Louise isn't here this lunchtime. So I'm here all on my own going to do this reindeer. Look at him. He looks so cute with that little wry smile and that big red nose. So we're going to start doing this one today. I'll do this side because I can see that the protective cover has started to slip off this one. So We'll remove that and let's see how much we can get done this lunchtime. So I'm going to start with his lovely antlers there, number six. <laughs> he looks so fabulous. And I think I'm going to be only diamond painting one side of this one because I'm going to use this as a sticker on the back of a card for my nephew instead of using it as a key ring. So I will be, or should I maybe put the chain through and attach it so that he would be able to pop it onto the Christmas tree? Yes, that's probably actually a better idea because then he can keep it and pop it on the tree once he's opened his card with, of course, cash inside because you know what it's like when they get to near teenage years. You never know what to get them, what they've got already. So I'm going to pop a bit of cash into a card for him and pop the reindeer on the front. <laughs> lovely crystal brown antlers. Okay, as you can see my finger is sticking to this quite a bit. It's very very sticky. I'm actually wondering whether, because it's on a clear base, whether I need to put something over that stickiness. Otherwise the whole thing is going to stay quite tacky. So do his eyes, little black eyes. There we go. <laughs> and should we do his nose next? Can't resist that. Oh, can't resist that red nose there with these lovely crystals. They're very, very sparkly. He is going to have a very shiny nose. We know a song about that, don't we? <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> so how are you getting on with your own Christmas projects? Have you made anything amazing? Have you shied away from making anything Christmassy yet? I'm feeling really, really Christmassy at the moment. Don't quite know why. <laughs> I'm not usually by now. It usually takes me a little bit of time to warm up to the Christmas season. Ooh, look at this one, a big red. Ah, oh, wow, I love that. And a green collar. This very full pot of green. That I think I poured out all over my desk yesterday. Yes, yeah, so Louise had to nip out this lunchtime. So she's going to miss out on all the fun this lunchtime, making these key rings. Now I put B, but perhaps it was eight, because I haven't got a number eight. Maybe that was my eyesight. I've thrown the packets away as well. Oh no, because the eyes were B, weren't they? Oh, maybe I've got a missing colour, you know. Let's do the number sevens. That would be really sad to not be able to finish him. We might have to leave him until we've completed the majority and see what's left over that we can use for his furriness at the front. Oh. 
Maybe that's why there were only £3.95. <laughs> I think I'm losing his funny little smile as well. <laughs> anyway, it's only like a little extra gift to pop on the tree. I'm sure if that is a missing colour, that number eight, I'm sure I'll have some round diamonds at home that I could use instead. And if we had enough diamonds of the sea, these silvery ones, he could maybe have a silver furry tummy. It's nice working with crystals for a change. They shine very differently to our usual diamonds. Fill in his body and like I say, I'm going to leave those number eights and try and work out what's going on with this kit. I just think that colour was probably missing out of the pack. Unfortunately, I've thrown all of the packets in the bin now to be able to check. But I definitely used them all because the pack itself was empty. The pack that they came in was emptied, so I definitely didn't leave one with diamonds in it. I am also using a diamond pen that didn't come in the kit because I had already got some wax in this one. Of course, doing these sorts of kits, it's quite difficult to multi-place, so you tend to just single place them all because they're not really in a line. Okay, let's have a closer look. I think I've got one slightly off. There we are. So there we go. <laughs> they sparkle really, really prettily. So I'm going to leave those number eights, continue with the rest of the key rings and see what I can do about his bib. So I'm going to pop the protective cover back on as best I can there and come back to him. Bye for now.